Hello, cloud gurus. Welcome to AWS This Week. My name is David Tucker, and while this is my first AWS This Week episode, you may have seen some of my content from Pluralsight. And now that Pluralsight and ACG are coming together, you'll see me here periodically covering the AWS updates you need. Now this week, we have several announcements that could affect how and what you build on AWS. This list includes the general availability of the feature flags capability of AppConfig, new memory optimized X2I instances for EC2, massive changes to DynamoDB account quotas, and Route 53's private DNS capability, adding support for geolocation and latency-based routing. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's get to all the specifics here on AWS This Week. If you have followed along with the feature flags capability of AppConfig, you will be delighted to hear that this capability is now generally available. Now this capability, which was initially launched in preview back in November, right before reInvent, gives you the ability to control the release of specific features in your applications after you have shipped the release in a deployment. Now this rounds out the capabilities provided by AWS AppConfig, which are all centered around runtime app configuration. Now, since that initial preview, the capability has continued to mature, leading up to this week's general availability announcement. And this also includes a Lambda extension that makes integrating feature flags even easier with your serverless compute workloads. This week, AWS launched two new instance types under the X2i instance type family, which brings the total number of instance types to three in this family. Now these new instance types, X2IDN and X2IEDN, are powered by the third generation scalable Xeon processors, which are called Ice Lake for all of you tracking the Intel chip world. And according to AWS, these new processors offer 50% higher compute price performance than comparable X1 instances. Now if you're running in-memory databases or large analytics workloads in the cloud, you may wanna check out these new instance types. They both offer up to 3.8 terabytes of NVMe SSD storage and up to either two terabytes or four terabytes of memory respectively with both having 100 gigabit per second network bandwidth. Now check out the link in the episode notes to see which regions these instances are available in. DynamoDB is now 10 times better than it was last week. Okay, well maybe that's not exactly true, but there have been some big changes when it comes to account quotas for DynamoDB usage. First up, the quota for tables has increased from 256 per account and region to 2,500. See, almost 10 times better. And in addition, the account and region quota for concurrent table management operations has increased by a factor of 10 from 50 to 500. Now, for organizations that have a lot of data stored across multiple DynamoDB tables, you will now have a much longer runway before you have to worry about running into these default quotas. Now, finally, Route 53 allows you to configure geolocation and latency-based routing for public DNS. Now, these features can greatly help when creating cross-region fault-tolerant solutions on AWS. And this week, AWS extended those capabilities for organizations leveraging it for private DNS. That means you can leverage the same benefits when creating your private applications on AWS as well. Finally, here at ACG, we're making it even easier to grow your cloud skills right now. You can save on our personal plus annual plans with the link in the description or with the QR code here on the screen. Well, that's it for this week. Now, if you have any comments or questions at all, let us know and keep being awesome cloud gurus. And we'll see you next week for all of your AWS updates here on AWS This Week.